okay guys so today the topic is uh, topic is about the NAND gates in the previous topic in the previous lecture i have told about the NAND gate how they are being practically used in the breadboard but the today lecture is about the NAND gate how they are being used in the breadboard uh, this is the symbol of the NAND gate and the boolean algebra form of the NAND gate which o represents the output and a and b represents the inputs here okay uh, the bar on both of them represents when any of the uh, basically represents when any of uh, the uh, output comes uh, for example if the output is zero so it will change it, uh, it the output would be one if the output is one so it will change and the output will become zero uh, here it is the truth table and according to the truth table in both of the input that is a and b inputs are zero uh, so the output would be one when one of the input uh, is zero and one is one which means one input gets a source so the output would be one but if both of the input are one which it means that both of them gets a source so the output would be zero okay the instruments or the equipments that are being required or being used in this uh, experiment they, uh, they are wires breadboard NAND get IC uh, and the number of that IC is 7400 LEDs, voltage source. Okay, and now starting. I uh, place the NAND gate IC as shown. Uh, placing that NAND gate accordingly in the E and F column uh, of the breadboard. Just see, it is being placed accordingly. Here is a cut on the IC, and it should be the cut shouldn't be uh should, should be placed just like it. Okay. Now connect, uh, connect uh, insert a wire on the top uh, at the right side which is uh, this one and uh, connect it with the positive side of the breadboard this is the po positive side of the breadboard and I'm connecting this wire with this now insert another wire with the left corner and connect it with the negative side of the breadboard here I'm inserting this wire and here uh, with the negative side of the breadboard now insert another wire at the top left side of the breadboard and connect it with the negative side of the breadboard just see here it is uh, the, uh, basically the first input and I'm connecting this input with the negative side of the breadboard now inserting another wire in the second row second row basically this one is the second row of the breadboard I'm connecting this wire with again with the negative side of the breadboard LED is going to be used so placing this LED accordingly uh, accordingly as shown you see I'm I have placed this LED just like that okay uh, before that uh, just see I have explained that uh, and told uh, about that earlier in the previous lecture but still I'm going to tell you again that there is a slight cut uh, on the uh, side of the LED that slight cut basically represents the negative terminal or the negative side of the LED but if someone cannot see that so the his the longer side this basically represents the positive terminal or a positive side of the led and this the shorter one represents the negative side or terminal of the led okay as uh, i've told you earlier that led is going to be placed like this now connect the negative side of the led and breadboard with help of a wire just see here it is the negative side of the led i'm connecting this wire here with the negative side of the led uh, uh negative side of the breadboard sorry uh, basically i'm giving a ground to the led now insert another one in the third row at the left side of the ic or the breadboard and leave it as uh, as it is see uh, the, here it is the third wire this third wire will basically tell us about the output uh, connecting it with the in the third row but uh, just connect it here and do not connect it anywhere else this side should not be connected anywhere else in the breadboard just leave it as it is the voltage source that is being uh, used i am the using the six volt voltage source now connect positive and negative terminals of the battery with the positive and negative side of the breadboard just see here it is the positive and the negative side of the uh, the the battery and uh, i have connected this positive with the positive column of the breadboard and the negative uh, is being connected with the negative column of the breadboard now the led gets on because both of the input are zero as i've told you earlier about the truth table of the NAND gate when the both of the inputs are zero which means that there is isn't any source for the inputs so the led will uh, get on uh, 
uh, this which is proving the uh, truth table of the NAND gate which is the first condition of the of the truth table now uh, just see that there are some close picture of the that I've done uh, the connect connection of the wires just see here uh, more closely you see there's the negative side of the LED and this uh, one is being connected with the negative side of the breadboard this is the basically the negative terminal of the bed uh, the breadboard and this one is the positive the positive of uh, connected with the positive side of the uh, breadboard all the wires are that are be connected are more can can be seen more clear from this image just see another one there is this wire has, uh, can be seen easily how they are being connected here okay now one input is given a source that is connected with positive side and the other input is zero but still led is on so again the second condition of the truth table when one uh, input is zero and the other input is one so the output would be one so which is uh, it is again proving the second condition of the truth table now moving towards the third condition of the truth table now see now the second input wire is given a source now in now the, the, the this is basically the white wire represent, represents the first input and the blue wire represent the second input now again i'm the the first this wire is being connected with the positive side of the breadboard and the blue wire is being connected with the negative side of the breadboard but still the led is on which again the proving the third condition of the truth table this is basically proving again i'm saying proving the third condition of the truth table that if one input is zero and the other input is one so uh, the led will get on now the led gets off now see the led is off because both of the inputs there is the white wire and the blue wire are being connected on the positive side of the terminal and which means that the board bo if both of the input uh, is one so the output would be zero which proves the fourth condition also of the truth table and now as i've uh, may, i may have told earlier but again i'm going to say that we can connect the wires anywhere in the breadboard accordingly for example i have uh, placed these wires on the top uh, of the breadboard but uh, now i have pl placed uh, the ch uh, change the places of these wires these uh, connections i have moved it down but still the leds are on uh, which proves that any we can place it anywhere in the breadboard there is no restriction for connection of the wires here are some close images of these uh, wires of these connections and so you can easily see how they are being connected how they are being done just see the led this is the positive side and this one is the negative side of the led okay so thank you for watching i hope you may have got a lot of knowledge and your problems may get resolved so thank you for watching please uh, do not forget to like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching thank you